When we talk about development, we talk about what needs to be done to make the Arab world a better place. Now it's time to take action. Instead of repeatedly talking about the same things over and over again, we want to start doing it. You know, enough about theory, let's start applying. And I think that's, you know, in a nutshell, what we really hope to do this year. We're going to take action this year uh, through projects. So every delegate or applicant that applies to the summit is going to have a project in mind that they're going to uh, submit in the re on the registration form. Uh, these projects have to be uh, specific, measurable, and attainable. And, Can you uh, give us an example of like a project idea? A very interesting project idea actually was from one of our ambassadors in Texas. Uh, she has the idea of having an early warning system for mothers to remind them to vaccinate their children through text messaging. Uh, awesome. Apparently someone did it already in the US and she wants to take this project to Palestine. Then we're going to um, approach the person that submitted the project so we can kind of fine tune it with them. So it's like, so we can kind of really have a project that is specific, attainable and measurable. And we're going to have these people um, also tell us about how many people they want on their team, in their group, for that specific project. Uh, once that's done, the project leader, or the person sub who has submitted the project, will also be able to submit uh, that uh, project on Shadit. Is this all this happening like now or like during no, the summit or the what? the summit is really, it's just part of that uh, spectrum of idea development. There's the pre-summit stage. Which so this is, just, is all pre-summit, so they all meet online beforehand, right? They meet, yes. They meet online beforehand and Shadik will give them that opportunity to network and to allow their ideas to develop in the early stage pre-summit okay. so that they're going to the summit with an idea which is ready to develop and is I mean the fundamentals have been answered about the idea. Nice. Yeah, well if you don't have a project that's not a problem, you can just let us know what your interests are and what you're like, what you'd really like to work on maybe. And that way once um, most of our, our, our participants have submitted their projects, it's going to be uh, available for everyone on Shadik, our online platform. And that way they can like they can opt to join one of the existing projects already. The biggest um, innovation that we've uh, come up with since the last summit is the project workshops. And so we're moving from just kind of inspiring people who, like through the lectures and through the talks to getting people to get their hands dirty. Trying to emphasize the take action component. So we just, we don't want to just talk about the issues and the problems that are in the Arab world, but we also want to talk about solutions and how to implement them. So I think what we want to do this year is really shift that completely and really focus on taking action. Taking action. Yeah. In essence, exactly. We want to stop focusing on problems or we still want to focus on them, but from a very proactive, do-it-yourself, solutions-oriented thinking. So it kicks off with lectures. And basically you get people with ongoing work uh, in the Middle East, ongoing projects, uh, more celebrated names who will give their insight and advice on project development in the Middle East. Following that is master classes. And we were talking about the master classes yesterday. Master classes. Master class. Master class. Master classes. Master classes. Master classes. Master classes. Master classes. Master classes. Master class, I think. Well, what, a lot what of is stuff. the point of the master class? It's just the masterclasses are basically um, to give the delegates tangible skills that they can take away from the conference and can use to help them implement their projects. So some of the masterclasses, we have 12 of them in total, for example, um, how to fundraise effectively, how to go viral, and um, how to sell an idea in 60 seconds or less. All of these things are very important um, skills for the delegates to have. Uh, when they're working on a project and implementing a project. So the idea of these master classes is to bring in people who have these skills and who can teach the delegates how to kind of harness all of these powers um, to help forward their development projects or organizational goals. You know, they use these going into really implementing their projects, right? So in terms of implementing their project, it starts with poster sessions where they they post up their projects on uh, basic diagrammatic form on walls and they network, they walk around the projects, they look at them, they get ideas, they comment on each other's projects, but this is just in the initial stage. Then you have the first workshop where they have internal development for their projects, so within their project team, uh, they receive feedback from a mentor who gives them advice. and. Uh, 
advice on how to develop their projects, areas which need to be better resolved. And then you have your second work se workshop session where uh, project uh, leaders present their projects to their peers and really receive a much more broad critique and a much more uh, widespread critique to their projects. Next day, it's going to be lecture block two, workshop, workshop two. two. Career Networking fair? lunch, career yeah. fair, that yeah. career fair, you start talking to people who yeah. are in your field. And, and they won't be well. too like So after the project workshops we have this we have the career fair and I'm I mean Dina's filling us up uh, filling us filling us out or filling us up. She's she's filling she's us in, in. <laughs> So the career fair is the final step of our taking action component. It's very exciting and we're focusing mostly on um, non-profits who need... So basically during the career fair we aim to uh, connect the different participants and different talent pool we will have to different organizations from uh, financial institutions to private companies to non-profits and um, it's a great opportunity for participants if you're looking for a job. So as you can see, uh, we're really hoping to do a lot of different work this year as opposed to last year and we have a lot of different features and we're really, really focusing on you and focusing on your ideas, focusing on your project and we want you to take action. So make sure you register as soon as possible to secure your spot. Uh, we've already received tons of amazing, amazing project ideas and applications with some really, really top-notch talent and uh, just make sure you register ASAP to secure your spot. If you have any questions, we are very approachable and you can just email us at envision at arabdevelopment.com and uh, to register, I believe it's www.arabdevelopment.com slash register.